नमस्कार इंडिया मेटोलॉजिकल डिपार्टमेंट वेलकम्स यू इन वीकली वेदर डिस्कशन इन द वीकली वेदर डिस्कशन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल लुक व्हाट हैज बीन द वेदर ड्यूरिंग पास वन वीक एंड व्हाट द वेदर इज गोइंग टू बी ड्यूरिंग अपकमिंग टू वीक्स सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इफ यू लुक इन टू हाईलाइट देन द नेक्स्ट टू वीक्स दैट इज अप टू फोर्टींथ ऑफ सेप्टेंबर एज वी कैन सी हियर द पेनसुलर इंडिया एंड ईस्ट इंडिया एंड एट ज्वाइनिंग पार्ट ऑफ सेंट्रल इंडिया to the peninsular india and to the east india uh, is going to receive normal to above normal rainfall during next two weeks but as far as uh, northwest india is concerned and parts of west india is concerned so the rainfall is going to be normal to below normal over these two regions northwest india and west india are going to be normal to below normal rainfall uh, uh, probability and over entire peninsular india east india northeast india and adjoining uh, and and most parts of central india except the northern parts of madhya pradesh is going to receive uh, uh, the likelihood of uh, uh, normal to above normal rainfall now we will look uh, uh, step by step and uh, point by point that what is going to be the weather during next two weeks and what has been the weather during past one week so first of all if we look into the past week weather then the monsoon trough has remained to the north of its normal position although there were extreme extreme precipitation events on 22nd and 20 uh, 22nd of august and thereafter on 23rd of august also there was uh, heavy to very heavy rainfall scenario over uttarakhand and himachal pradesh but from 24th august onwards there was hardly any heavy rainfall activity over the country as we can see here over himachal pradesh and uttarakhand two days recorded heavy rainfall event only and one day punjab one day haryana one day over west up two days over uh, east up and uh, like that two to three days only heavy rainfall events have been observed and that too uh, mostly on uh, east india and northeast india and if you look into south peninsula india then due to persistence of a uh, north south trough from south interior karnataka to comorin area across interior tamil nadu four days five days uh, heavy rainfall has uh, been observed over tamil nadu in which one day was there uh, very heavy rainfall also over tamil nadu so if we, overall if we see then during the past one week uh, for the con- country as a whole minus 40% of rainfall departure from the normal uh, was observed that is the rainfall was less the, uh, less by 40% from the normal rainfall that is the normal rainfall should have been 50.9 mm over the entire country but the rainfall observed was only 30.7 mm over the entire country uh, in which the maximum contribution is of central india which saw a departure of minus 73% during this week and northwest india saw a departure of minus 43% and south peninsular india saw a departure of minus 48% although east and northeast india were plus 30% dip, uh, uh, positive due to the strong uh, southwesterly winds going into the uh, northeast india uh, especially over meghalaya and uh, and eastern assam and if we look into seasonal departure then the seasonal departure for entire country is minus 9% till 30th of august that is from 1st june to 30th of august the country has seen minus 9% rainfall uh, as far as a normal rainfall during this period is concerned so the rainfall should have been 693.9 uh, mm but it has been only 628.7 mm and out of uh, for, for this uh, uh, mainly responsible uh, rainfall was over uh, south peninsular india which was minus 17% east and northeast india which is uh, minus 16% and uh, the central india has seen the negative departure of minus 10 percent although northwest india due to the uh, abnormally heavy rainfall scenario over uttarakhand and himachal pradesh has has uh, contributed to be plus 4 percent from the normal rainfall scenario now here we can see that uh, the uh, for entire country 
for the month of august if we look into for the entire country for the month of august then during last uh, 123 years the country has observed for the month of august average mean and maximum temperature highest till now that is to say that till now the uh, for last 123 years the for the, the month of august for 2023 has recorded highest average mean and maximum temperatures and second highest average minimum temperatures for the month of august and uh, in this south peninsular india is the biggest contributor if we look into the south peninsular india then south peninsular india has recorded highest average mean temperature highest average maximum temperature and highest average minimum temperatures during past 123 years for the month of august in this august is itself that is the august 2023 and these uh, high high temperatures high mean temperatures high maximum temperatures and high minimum temperatures over the country are due to the rainfall scenario the deficient rainfall scenario as we saw that the country entire country has observed minus 9% till uh, 30th of august but for the month uh, for the for this week Uh, for this week uh, minus 73% of uh, departure has been observed over central india and entire country for this week has observed minus 40% of departure now if we come into the forecast part so uh, during next one week as we have been uh, predicting in india meteorological department has been predicting since last one week that a cyclonic circulation is likely to form over uh, uh, north bay of bengal and uh, and under its influence the eastern end of the monsoon trough is likely to shift to the south of its normal position and that will cause heavy rainfall uh, uh, scenario over over east india and adjoining parts of north peninsular india so here as we can see that over odisha isolated heavy rainfall is likely on second on third odisha and chatisgarh may receive isolated heavy rainfall uh, uh, along with the light to moderate fairly widespread to widespread rainfall and on on 4th of august, 4th of september as we can see uh, south chatisgarh south odisha telangana and north coastal andhra pradesh may see isolated heavy rainfall activity along with light to moderate rainfall uh, at uh, many to most places so uh, this is going to happen due to the likely formation of a uh, 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 cyclonic circulation uh, by around 4th of uh, september over uh, north bay of bengal and it's likely intensification into a low pressure area during subsequent days so this will cause uh, uh, this will cause uh, uh, above normal to uh, normal to above normal rainfall over uh, over the north peninsular india uh, 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 southern parts of odisha southern parts of chatisgarh vidarbh uh, vidarbh and southern parts of Uh, madhya pradesh also and uh, over rest parts of the country the rainfall is uh, likely to remain normal to below normal uh, uh, during this week and then we, if we come into the week 2 then again in the week 2 also a cyclonic circulation is likely to form over uh, uh, central bay of bengal and <coughs> under the influence of this cyclonic circulation uh, western coast is likely to receive uh, very good rainfall activity and this uh, this would cause the rainfall uh, status over uh, over west coast over uh, uh, over north peninsular india to be uh, from normal to above normal category and and also uh, over uh, southern parts of madhya pradesh southern parts of chatisgarh southern parts of odisha southern parts of west bengal are likely to receive uh, normal to above normal rainfall but the rest parts of the northern parts of the country including gujarat is uh, likely to experience uh, uh, normal to below normal rainfall during the week 2 and uh, and and uh, uh, this is the scenario about the 
uh, low pressure area formation during next two weeks so as we have already discussed that by around 4th of uh, September a cyclonic circulation is likely to form over North Bay of Bengal and then again during the week 2 that is from 8th to, to 14th of September around 10 to 12, 12 September again a uh, cyclonic circulation is likely to form over Central Bay of Bengal but these cyclonic circulation are unlikely to intensify into a depression uh, which, which is called the unlikelihood of a cyclogenesis over the North Indian Ocean. So that's all for today. Next week we will again meet for weekly weather discussion. Till then, thank you and goodbye.